also have Tank coming off an impressive performance. So he won by KO moving up two weight divisions. What's your thoughts on his performance? I mean, he went in there and did what he what he had to do. He went in there and did what he was supposed to do. But it's just funny to me because why skip a whole weight class? The guy is 5'5". Five five. You're not even a real 135 pounder. All the 135 pounders are bigger than you. So why skip a weight class and go up to 140 for a secondary belt? Obviously, because you've seen that Barrios was food. He knows that at 135, it's smoke. So do you see the Javante Tank Davis fight more realistic at 140 now, or you still see it possible at 135? Since think, you're eventually going to come up soon. Realistic at all. You, I mean, everybody heard what Floyd said. Floyd said that they're only going to fight PBC and Mayweather Promotions fighters and, and yada, yada, yada. So we see what it is, and uh, just, you just got to read between the lines. He's right. not going any real competition, anybody who be a threat to beating him. Barrios, no disrespect to him, but, you know, they, they built him up for, you know, that opportunity, that, that fight right there. Do you know Barrios at all? Were you familiar yeah. with him before Javante Tim Davis I, fought him? Yeah, me and Barrios, we sparred multiple times at, um, at Virgil's gym in the Bay. Um, so, yeah, I'm real familiar with Barrios. And how talented was he when you sparred him? Like, did you – know he was going to be a, a future champion? I mean, Barrios, he's a, a great guy. He works hard. That's what I could definitely say about him. Um, Virgil is a terrific coach as well. So, I mean, I have nothing but positive things to, to, to say about them. I, you know, I don't want to say anything uh, negative. He worked for the opportunity. He did, he did nothing wrong but, you know, fight who they put in front of him. But at the end of the day, real is real, and they built him up for that fight, for that opportunity, for – you know, him to be fed to Tank. Speaking of Javante Tank Davis, Floyd Mayweather did say that he's only going to match him up against PBC fighters. However, Leonard Ellaby, he revealed that Ryan Garcia is a possible opponent. And obviously, he's not with PBC. But Ryan Garcia told Leonard Ellaby that he want the Javante Tank Davis fight next. Ryan revealed he already knocked out anxiety. And now he want to fight Javante Tank Davis before the end of the year. What's your thoughts on that development? Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. You're not that pretty. I'm a bad man. Wait, wait. I shook up the world. I shook up the world. I shook up the world. I bear witness there's only one God, Allah, and Muhammad is his final messenger. That's why I said, Larry, on the bungle fight, thanking you. Call me the problem, but you could call me the can man, because anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, anybody can get it.